Our project is biodegradable soy foam food containers, and I'm Deepa Bhandari. Hi, I'm Hector Chang. <laughs> and um, our project is based on making food containers uh, made out of soy protein isolate. So, so it looks like you guys have a very interesting and a practical idea, yeah. right? Do you think so? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would like it because uh, this this one will help help the environment. It's biodegradable. It's environmental friendly, and it's edible too. And compared to the styrofoam, if you put hot liquid in it, it will uh, release some of the styrene into the food. Mm -hmm. If you consume it constantly, it will be carcinogenic and it's health problems. But with this product, even if it's leak, it's just food. What so, about cost? Cost right now, our lab cost is quite expensive, but we have yeah. to bring it down. If we manufacture our own protein isolate by using this process, uh, we can bring the cost down and even we are recovering the water usage. We cover all the energy. I try to save the energy by recirculating the steam. You know, recirculating the steam, compress it, and reuse it again. So we're trying to use safe water and safe energy. Whose idea was this? Actually, initially we started ah, with yeah. plastic. The plastic would be like many years of research. Right. right. And we had time limited, and at the same time, uh, next was his uh, peanut packing peanut uh, idea. But then that also we didn't have access to the machines and equipment. Mm -hmm. So we brought down to this. All we had was the process is very simple. Like the process is just mixing the glycerol, glycerol, sorry, and protein isolate, water, and baking powder. Mix it, mold it, dry it. That's all. How long does it take to uh, say to make a product that is commercial, maybe, and marketable, maybe? Um, well, in a lab, uh, we need like around maybe. <laughs> Mixing all that, one hour, drying, six hours. Will it be appealing to the public? Can you sell it to the public? Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll, I think we will need more research okay. and more marketing about it. I, I, I think, I know I can improve this product more yeah, by yeah. more resources. But right I, now we are just made water resistant by applying wax on it, but then at the now we found out that we can make heat resistant and we can use for hot coffee, hot soup. Okay. Okay. Since you guys are engineering students, so once you make a product, right? Did you test this product for some of the basic engineering properties? Uh, we did not actually get anywhere from the right. test, like you say, a texture analyzer, test stream, how the much is We did not have that. We was focusing more on getting the product. Okay. Once you have a product, then you can get the basic properties and then based on the properties if you want to have a different set of uh, you know uh, uh, say strength and uh, uh, soaking wetting properties then you can go back vary the formulations and then improve yeah. certain aspects of the product right make it lightweight okay, right. okay. very good